Pat just removed the awning from the scamp. It was actually pretty easy. It's just held on with two screws. Uh, right here, two very tiny screws. It slides in the whole system side. Oh, oh red. Going just comfortable. Okay. So once you take those screws out, it just slid out of the track that's up there. And <laughs> then we took the legs off of it. Because if you've seen the other videos where we do the walkthrough, we don't really love this awning. And our thoughts are that maybe we can do something to it to kind of make it easier and lighter. That's the track that it slid out of right there. And then we still have these little attachment points that we're thinking we can use those, or we might just slide it back in there and do it without the metal legs, but it definitely needs to be cleaned. So it's probably good that we took it off. It makes it a little easier. Then we went inside the scamp and we had decided to remove the bathroom door because it always just kind of gets in the way. And we think that the layout is going to work better without the door on there. One. <laughs> Got like 50 to go. Took off like 100 pounds off this thing. <laughs> With everything we're taking off. Yeah. The door to the bathroom is pretty big and heavy. And just where it's situated in the layout of the scamp, when you're coming in and you're trying to sit at that table, the door can be in the way. So we figured, especially when you have somebody sitting at the table, it's just easier not to have to open and close this door. And a lot of times when we're moving, it pops open anyway, and then it's just kind of swinging. And we've tried a couple different things to keep it closed and really hasn't worked. So we decided to just take it off. The one thing I didn't want to lose were the hooks that are on the outside of the bathroom door. So we took them off the door and put them onto the door frame. That'll be nice, especially on the other side, because you can like hang up your towel and then just grab it. Yeah. If you get out of the shower. We got rid of the door that's always in the way, but we got to keep the storage. So I think this was a good solution that will make it more comfortable moving around in this camp. So then the next thing we wanted to work on was our new idea for the awning. And this is our Sea to Summit tarp that we use when we go backpacking. This one's bigger. Yeah. And it's a little bit lighter too. Yeah. So hopefully these uh, suction cups that we got will hold it in place pretty well. Probably have to play around with like the placement. Yeah. Is the other scamp people did this, right? Is that where we got the idea? Never-ending source of uh, ideas on YouTube. I'm gonna grab it. The tarp works well and the poles that we got work really well, but the suction cups we're gonna have to trade out for uh, something smaller. Just because of the way the scamp curves, the bigger ones don't get a good grip. But the concept is there and I think it's going to be a good switch from that heavy awning. And I'm pretty happy with the no door situation. For the bathroom lots of weight savings there and it just feels bigger and more spacious when you walk in which is nice in such a tiny trailer so now i'm gonna put the new curtain and the curtain rings on because the other one is annoying it doesn't really slide very well so let me switch that out here's the old ones the originals very cheap shower curtain this hook over here is neat though because you just take the curtain and hang it up there and then when you want to use it you just take it down but just switch it out for the nicer one. We were immediately happy with the extra feeling of open space once we had removed that big heavy door from the bathroom but I know what some of you are thinking that you couldn't possibly imagine having a bathroom without a door on it especially when you're sharing your space with another person but I think we have a, a pretty good comfort level with this sort of thing. A lot of times if you're in a campground, you are probably going to use the bathroom in the bathhouse. Um, not to say that we do that all the time because we definitely use our bathroom when we're traveling. 
but this is going to make us probably utilize it more often, especially if we end up switching to a composting toilet, because then we won't have to winterize the toilet system and we'll still be able to use that wherever we're camping in the winter. So I took down the old shower curtain and got a more heavy duty shower curtain. I switched out the rings so that it glides more easily to open and close it and attach that to the shower curtain. And I think this is going to make a more functional space, but I'll let you know when we actually start to use it. Very good. Okay, so the new shower curtain is in. I had to shorten it a little bit because uh, it's not that tall in here. But it glides much better with the new curtains or the rings on here. And now I'm just going to fold it up on the side so it's out of the way. And since this only used half of the shower curtain, I'm going to save the other half so when this one gets kind of gross, I can switch them out. Two for one. Okay, there we go. The next thing that we have been talking about is the toilet. And after a lot of deliberation, <laughs> we've decided that we're going to take this toilet out and replace it with a composting toilet. It will give us a lot more flexibility and we won't have to worry about running out of water as quickly. The Scamps tanks are not very big. They're only, I think the fresh water is 12 gallons. So if you are flushing the toilet regularly, you run through that water pretty quickly in a couple days. So not having to flush the toilet with water, I think is going to be really helpful in terms of us being able to stay out longer because that's what we're really working on right now. Situating the scamp so that we can go on longer trips, we can be lighter, we can pack different things in here so that we have uh, the gear that we need for a little bit more intense travel. We were just saying that what we're doing to the scamp right now is kind of like what backpackers do when they're getting ready for a big trip you try to cut down on your base weight. You figure out what your backpack and your tent and sleeping bag and all your basic gear weigh, and then try to figure out creative ways to decrease that. Some people get as crazy as cutting off the ends of their toothbrushes and things like that. We're not gonna get that crazy, but we're thinking about the scamp in that same kind of way. If we want to be more mobile and we wanna make it easier to move from place to place and put less strain on the Jeep, we wanna bring down the overall weight of the scamp and try to switch some of the systems out so that it's not so much made to stay in RV parks and have full hookups, but it's made to go to more remote places and to maintain some level of comfort for us because the older we get, the harder it is to be without things like a bed and a bathroom. Um, and that's kind of why we have added the scamp to our gear. We still have our backpacking gear. We still have our tents. We're still going to do all of that stuff. But when we're just doing a quick weekend trip and we have to go right back to work after that trip, it's nice to have the comfort of the scamp. If you saw our last winter camping video with the scamp, we set up our insulation system for the windows. The Reflectex is contoured around the edges and here, I was just using some clear plastic tape to make sure that it fits really well around the window casing. And then we have the Gore-Tex curtains that go over top of that for extra protection. And it's just nicer to look at. But one of the other reasons we wanted to remove the bathroom door is because when you are winter camping and you turn the furnace on, it prevents the hot air from getting into the bathroom. So the bathroom stays kind of cold. And in the summer, if we leave the bathroom door closed, it gets kind of hot in there. So this is just better for the overall movement of air and temperature regulation. As we're switching things around in the scamp, we're trying to kind of make like a little closet area. So this is my closet area because this is where I usually sit. And I put these hooks on here. They just have the Velcro on the back and they stick really well to the scamp fur. So that's nice. And then this is gonna be Pat's closet area where he can hang stuff. And I got the last piece of Reflectex all situated. So that is ready to go for our trip next weekend. It's nice the way that we did it, it wraps around 
the side of the window casing. So I feel like it's going to do a pretty good job of uh, insulating us from the cold outside. So we've got one of those for each of the windows and then I still need to sew the buttons on the Cortex. And the funny thing is I bought a bag of buttons on Amazon and they were in the tiny house somewhere. They were sitting on the side and they just kind of disappeared. So we have no idea where the little white buttons went. So hopefully I can go out to the store and get some new ones today, but it's so weird. It's very weird when you lose something in the tiny house because there's really not that many places that it could go. I think uh, we'll blame it on Redford. He probably did something with them. And if you're wondering what we did with the door to the scamp, it's actually inside the tiny house right now, right here. So this is a, an extension that we made on the couch to kind of try it out. There's the one extra scamp cushion that we don't use that we almost threw out, but it makes a perfect even level with the couch. And then there's the scamp door. We just tucked it into the couch and brought it out. Kind of the same idea as the uh, extension that we made on the scamp bed. And then this is one of our yellow storage bins from Ikea that we've had since we got the tiny house. So basically we wanted to try having this L-shaped couch because I think eventually what we need to do is build a custom couch because you see there's like wasted space on that side. And then I'd like there to be storage under the cushions and then under this part. So uh, we could maybe get rid of this chest and store Redford's dog food in there because that takes up a lot of room. Um, but we wanted to do this as like a trial to see if we really like having that space closed off because you really do have to try it out in the tiny house. Like anything that you change shifts the whole flow of movement, but I really like being able to put my feet up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's nice, right? And then if we had storage in there, that would really be a bonus. So I think that's going to be maybe a project for when it's warmer and yeah. we can actually like cut wood outside and not be freezing. Mm. And I think Redford enjoys the extra couch space. So that's really, it's all about Redford. <laughs> Right, Red? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Justice, the next president to be. The news and watch hear your career. It's time for you to face those fears, and it's all fair to be aware and I'll be there. So don't be scared. Just take a deep breath of air. And one, two, three to ten, you begin to focus again. And no time flies. We have enough to realize. Bigger than the both of us.